believe it or not, China has played a huge role in our coming up. So you really gotta read the writing on the wall for Love Sack and see what we're doing here and how it's different from what everyone else is doing and that we're playing a long game. If you don't know my story, I learned Chinese when I was 18, 19 years old as a missionary. It's been a huge uh, blessing as we evolved over here. You think I get all this stuff done at Love Sack by myself, but I don't! This is our team China! She's been with us for over 11 years. David Chi! Yeah. 20 years later, we're still doing business. Her child is eight years old. We, we got to see him be born. He used to play around the factory and hang out. And now he's eight years old. What are you, What are you, My son is also eight years old, too. What's funny about Mr. Han is it always sounds like he's yelling. <laughs> These relationships are everything. When your manufacturing partners are more than just um, service providers, you're not just running around factory to factory, always chasing another dollar, saving another buck. They become your partners and they help you evolve your product. You know, Mr. Han does this kind of work on his own because he's always pursuing better, faster, more efficient, more resilient, more perfect product. That's what we were just talking about. But you want to know the real secret to maintaining great relationships in Asia? eating together, in particular, seafood. It's really just at the ceremony of the thing, you know, breaking bread together, but there's never any bread. What would a factory visit be without a Lazy Susan dinner to follow? This design for life ethos is affecting the way we think about manufacturing. Theoretically, we'll be making these things for the next few decades because we are selling you on the idea that sectionals could be with you the rest of your life. With that kind of outlook, we can do things differently manufacturing. We can invest in automation. We can invest in machinery. We can potentially someday build sectionals in the United States. We use really heavy zipper, only the best thread, only the best machinery, down to the length of stitches we care about. One of the things that really separates sectionals from all the other crap furniture out there is while everything else is just thrown together with staples and glue, sectionals utilize wood screws. Look at all those wood screws! Look at all those wood screws! All of our upholstery fabric that's on sectionals now, this gray upholstery fabric, is made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. And that's without sacrificing any of the hand seal, the quality, the durability. We make sure that all of our glue is uh, neutral for the environment, is low VOC, is healthy to breathe. All of Sactional's guts are this made from solid hardwood this and manufactured to very tight specifications down to the millimeter. Because Sactional's are kind of, you know, the main thing that we make, we can invest thousands of man hours and all of our time and energy into perfecting it endlessly. So we're constantly improving them little by little over the years. We're probably on version 49 of Sactional's. I still have ones in my home that are 10 years old that are holding up just great. For us, it's not just a path to making better stuff. It's a path to potentially affording the most efficient supply chain you've ever thought of. Because when you're building things that are built to last a lot of time and designed to evolve, and that people are meant to grow over time and reinvest in and upgrade and add to, then they'll be demanding that same product without change at least product that can be reverse compatible with whatever they have already for maybe decades to come, which would allow us the opportunity to really invest in that supply chain, make it super efficient and um, unlike any other. It's actually a really exciting time in Love Sachs sourcing evolution. We began looking outside of China for new suppliers uh, two years ago 
just to be diligent and, and as a business and seek diversification of our supply chain. And luckily we were a little bit ahead of this curve when Trump's special tariffs hit and really forced our hand to move our manufacturing even more rapidly out of China to other countries in the region, which we've done really successfully. So now we are doing the same thing in Vietnam, in Malaysia. We have uh, other countries on our list. And ultimately, you know, we'd love to move a lot of our manufacturing back to America. But in the meantime, uh, we now have opportunities to employ people in all these other great countries in the region that we're having a lot of fun traveling to and making new friends and meeting new people and establishing new relationships. Even as a lot of our current Chinese vendors uh, build factories on our behalf in these new countries as well. And so it's a new day at Love Sack Sourcing, but uh, same game, same quality product, no matter where we build it, we are relentless in terms of product quality, design, and um, you know, delivering that love sack feel to the people who support us, our customers. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to document what we're doing here in Asia with our factories. We're very proud of employing all these people. We're very proud of the supply chain we built. And we're very proud of all the um, manufacturing we do in the United States as well. All of our sacks are made in the U.S. Uh, all of our custom covers are made in the U.S. And I believe that in the future we will be doing even more in the United States. I, look, I like to believe we're building something really special that will mean something in the world and that ultimately, you know, will help us achieve our big, hairy, audacious goal, which is even bigger than, you know, selling sectionals to everybody and convincing people that Design for Life is a better way to live. Our big, hairy, audacious goal at Love Sack is to inspire mankind to buy less and buy better. And this is a company that sells stuff, right? We want you to buy less stuff because we want you to buy it better. We'd rather see you invest your money one time the right way in something that can last because it was built to last and can evolve with you. And that is what Design for Life means. And that is where Love Sack will go. So keep watching. I believe we really are just getting started.